One and done. That's how swimming great Michael Phelps sees it when it comes to Olympic athletes who test positive for banned substances. Telling reporters this week, if you test positive, you should never be allowed to come back and compete again. Cut and dry. Phelps has been outspoken on this topic for years, in June testifying in front of Congress on the matter. So with this, I urge you, the members of Congress, to engage in the fight against doping. We can uphold the values and fairness and integrity that, we are, that are the cornerstone of Olympic and Paralympic sports. Let us work together to ensure that every athlete, regardless of where they are from, has the opportunity to, complete, to compete fairly and achieve their dreams. But now, as the Paris Olympics winds down, the 23-time Olympic gold medalist is reiterating his views, with a Chinese doping scandal fresh on his mind. While the scandal had to do with the Tokyo Olympics in 2021, the details were not fully disclosed until earlier this year in a New York Times investigation. The two governing bodies, the World Anti-Doping Agency and World Aquatics, acknowledged 23 Chinese swimmers tested positive for a banned substance before the Tokyo Games, but were allowed to compete. Five went on to medal, with three winning gold. The agencies accepted the Chinese explanation that the athletes had consumed tainted food. Along with Michael Phelps, British Olympian Adam Peaty is also airing his frustration. His team came in fourth place in the men's 4x100 meter freestyle relay in Paris, while China won the gold with two of the swimmers from the Tokyo Games scandal on the team. So what is going to come out in, you know, what's coming out in next month? What's the surprise under the Christmas tree, <laughs> you know? But I want to make sure that the future British swimmers and future you know, swimmers in general around the world are racing fair and are winning fair. How hard is it? How hard is it to be? You know, all you got to do is train harder. You don't have to take anything, just train harder. You know, and um, you know, it, it does get me a bit emotion. You know, it does you know, fill me with emotion because I know how hard I have to work for a silver or a gold medal. Um, and it's just, um, I want to make sure that the sport is protected, that it's coming from a place of love, but also a place of, uh, you know, also anger. World Aquatics says Chinese swimmers have been tested more than those from any other country, an average of 21 times per swimmer since the beginning of the year. However, some are saying the testing has gone too far. According to CNN, China's national swim team nutritionists posted on social media that the team was subject to nearly 200 tests while in Paris. Phelps and Petey's comments come as more revelations were brought to light just as this year's summer games got underway. The New York Times saying two other Chinese swimmers had tested positive for a banned substance in 2022. Chinese authorities clearing them of doping, again blaming tainted food. One of those swimmers, the Times reported, was named to the Chinese swimming team at the Paris Games. For more of our coverage on the Summer Olympics, download the Straight Arrow News app.